a couple quick updates on COVID-19. BA2 is now the, the dominant variant in the United States. It's overtaken the, the Omicron, which is the, uh, the uh, strain of COVID it derived from. We know BA2 is very contagious. It doesn't produce a severe illness of some other variants. Right now, we're seeing some increases in some parts of the United States in cases, but not seeing increases in hospitalizations and deaths. Um, so bad news is BA2 is contagious and spreading. Uh, good news is it doesn't appear to be as serious in terms of putting people in the hospital or causing more severe illness. Another issue is the booster. There's several recent papers that showed that getting a second booster, it has been four months since your first booster, getting a second booster decreases your risk of hospitalizations and deaths. Um, it, it isn't as effective at preventing mild infection, but in high-risk patients, it clearly prevents adverse outcomes like hospitalizations or deaths. I would recommend higher-risk people get a second booster. It's recommended for everybody over 65 and anybody over 50 who has any comorbid conditions such as diabetes, hypertension, obesity, or any other condition that might be associated with a higher risk of an adverse outcome from a COVID-19 illness. There's been several papers recently that showed an association between COVID-19 and shingles. Um, the cause and effect isn't clear, but clearly there is an increased risk in shingles once people have had COVID. You know, shingles is a funny illness. It's the chicken pox you had as a child coming back years and years later to cause this painful rash, it can be quite debilitating. And shingles is another uh, infection for which there's a vaccine. The shingles vaccine can significantly uh, cut down uh, on the risk of getting shingles. There's a new shingles vaccine. It's been out two or three years called Shingrix. And it's recommended for everybody um, 15 over and some uh, younger age groups. Um, so the fact that COVID and shingles seems to have some association, certainly reminds us of the need to get the vaccine against shingles. There's a lot of uh, testing going on in the United States right now. They're testing wastewater to see if they can predict where there's increases. Um, they're also looking at COVID in, in animals. You know, animals are another reservoir uh, where variants could emerge. So we know that there's various species of animals uh, that can uh, get infected with uh, SARS-CoV-2, the agent of COVID-19. And just out of an abundance of caution, I think it's important to look at these animal reservoirs to see if uh, we can uh, predict any variants that might emerge. You know, right now we're at a place in the pandemic where, again, we don't know exactly what's going to happen. We're at a very nice low here in Northeast Ohio. Um, We've seen increases in Europe. We've seen increases in the Northeast United States. Typically, if that's occurring in Europe and Northeast United States, we may see some mild increases. There's no prediction that we'll have a big surge with the critical hospital capacity issue like we had in December, January. We may see some increases cases in our region. And then the big unknown is what future variants are there out there? We don't know. Uh, you know, stay tuned. No one has a crystal ball. As I said before, I think the pandemic will end with a whimper uh, and not suddenly that we're out of it. So uh, we're still there. Get boosted if it's indicated.